All right, I'm here at the Black Magic booth and I want to show you all the new Black Magic cameras and gear in maybe three to five minutes. So let me try, let's do it. Pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna start this at the ATEM Mini. This is, everybody loves the ATEM Mini here. I love this, the screen for the ATEM Mini too. It just, it makes sense. You got four sources, HDMI, and then this little guy is for recordings, right? And playback. Record, oh, so you got the hyper deck here, right? Yeah. Record, stop, play it back, scrub it, right? Oh, you can pause it. Jog and slow it down. Look at that. Boom. So we've got our ATEM Mini, got our HyperDeck, and then these are little recorders. HyperDeck Studio recorders. Does this, do you need this to have this? You don't need that now. Okay, these are independent, yeah. yeah. And then up here we get to the professional eight cameras here on the ATEM Mini ISO. And this is the control software here. Look at that. What's that do? That is controlling all your sort of camera data. Okay, controlling the camera data, wow. And look at all, look at this tower of HyperDeck Mini. So that's a good place to start, just going through a few things here. All right, so it's a little busy over here, but now we're gonna go to the, up to the professional ATEMs. So we looked at the baby ATEMs. Here's the bigger ones here. Look at that bad boy. Hey. So there's 16 cameras on this. It's looking like tick, tick, Additional six. MEs. Are those people actually here at the show? Yep. What is ah. this people? I don't know. Where are those people? Those are those are video clips. The software, of course. Oh my gosh! Look at these. And then these are obviously higher end. So look at that. Can I pull that out? I got it. You said I can. Let's see. Look at that. Cool. Now we're getting into more of like the professional broadcast stuff. Now let's take a look at mobile production over here. Ah, I didn't know they had this. They've got an ATEM microphone converter. Wow, it's taking XLR and outputting it via what looks like an SDI cable into a more professional system like this. And for what it is, it's pretty powerful. If you're setting up a green screen studio, this is a really cool product. I'm going to do a whole video on this, but just to take a quick look, they've got this Ultimate 12, and it really does work. It's, uh, it's really cool stuff. Really powerful hardware for green screens. I will post a new video on that. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick overview for this one. Now, one interesting thing is that Blackmagic now has an IP workflow 2110 here. Is that a card that goes in, or yes. how does that work? Yes, there's a card okay. that's inside there that's just got networking. Wow. And you can see if I just bring up the apps, you can oh see that gosh. we're running a capture app a playback app and resolve all at the same time. And then, wow, you're outputting via IP video. Yes, 2110 IP video. 2110 this year, NDI next year. I uh, have no comment on that. No comment, no comment. But we also have a converter box. Oh. If you see uh, one of our kind of famous uh, Terranex Mini devices, uh, we have Ethernet, and then we have three in, three out, and we also loop out. So you can bring in three SDI devices as input sources, and control it through 2110. So we have it working with our Hyperdex, and we've controlled one of our uh, smart controllers, and we've created an entire environment where you can control it over a network. Beautiful. Shipping now, car shipping, shipping now. now. So thank you well, very I like much to see it. All right, so behind me, I've got all the Blackmagic cameras, and I'm going to skip those because you can check them out on their website, but there's a couple other things to check out over here. This is new, monitoring and recording Blackmagic Video Assistant. These are looking cool. Again, I'm going to go through this stuff pretty quickly just because 
you know, I'm trying to, there's a lot of products here and I want to make this video short. The video hub here, just pushing buttons here. Um, I just was speaking to one of the Black Magic guys there. They're, they're doing SRT now. A lot of the Black Magic products are connected to the network, so we're seeing a lot more IP connectivity from Black Magic. Um, so, NDI, I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, let me know if you like this video. I'm going fast. This is a crazy show. There's a lot going on. But um, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm going to make a quick one about that uh, green screen technology they have. And then uh, there's still some time to do some other stuff. So let me know what you want to see. All right, bye, guys.